Hi, welcome to Ofuma Solutions. Um, in our previous uh, encounter, we looked at um, products of um, two functions. That's finding the rate for products of two functions. Uh, we realized that the instances that will be given two functions and then uh, we want to find the derivatives once the functions are multiplied. And uh, we employed um, Leibniz. Leibniz came out with a very nice theorem which helps us to find higher derivatives as far as product of two functions are concerned. I hope you've watched that uh, video because we are going to base our argument uh, on that uh, particular theorem. So let's Let's look at that. Just a quick reminder. The theorem says that if you have two functions u of x and the v of x, and these two functions are continuous, okay, this one is continuous and this one is also uh, continuous, this one is n times differentiable, and this one is also n times differentiable, it means the product, so the product of these two functions are also n times differentiable, and that becomes a uh, the nth derivative okay, of uh, this product u of x v of x becomes the summation okay, so r beginning from 0 to n n combination r then the r of the first function so u of x then the so, um, so the r of the yeah, so we have this, then the n minus r on the second function. So this is the theorem as far as uh, the is concerned. We took at one case in the previous uh, video, so you need to go and watch it. Alright, but in this video, we just want to look at an example. So it will happen that, uh, say, we should um, find so we are looking at example one. So find the thousand derivative. So we are differentiating to thousand. Okay, so of x in x. So you find the thousand derivative of this. So when you look at this, uh, if you don't take time, you see you have to jump. Then you have to look. But you realize that with the help of uh, Leibniz theorem, this is no problem. You can just quickly look at it. So you look at it, this product of functions, this x and this of mean x, and they are multiple actually. So the only thing we need to do at this moment is to state that okay, by Leibniz product of uh, theorem as far as product of functions are concerned, the thousand derivative of this. X mean X will be equal to. So we pick it from here. Summation where R begins from zero to thousand. Then thousand population R. Then what is the first function? We have this on X. So we have uh, this thing multiplying D. So R of what X. Then times the n minus r and uh, the n minus r. Then at this point, we need to remember something very interesting. We recall in the previous video that we're going to find the nth derivative of mean x. So in x, we have mean x like this. And then the nth derivative of this particular uh, function in x. Is equal to what? Are you remember? Right, so we were able to say that we will have negative 1, n minus 1, then multiply by n minus 1 factorial, then x into, so we have some times. So if you are not comfortable with this, you need to check out the video concerning this and be comfortable. Yes, it was from today, we will be using this one often. So we quickly put this here, we have negative 1 to the power negative uh, n minus 1, multiplying n minus 1 factorial, then we have this, all this. So we have set up the problem, and uh, in no time we'll finish. So let's go. 
Okay, it's about summation. So first, we start with R B zero. When R is zero, it means this will become zero. We have thousand combinations zero. Alright, and what we can here, this place we can zero. So if zero derivative means we are not differentiating at all. So we have x there, no differentiation. Now if r is zero, it means that n is thousand, then if you surprise zero from thousand, we still have thousand there. It means that we are going to differentiate the x thousand times. You see the importance of writing the n derivative here. So that if you are differentiating this one thousand times, the only thing you look for is where you can see n. Then you put thousand there. So I can see n here, so I put thousand here. And that gives me negative one to the power uh, 999. So that gives us negative. So we realize that you get, you get negative. We put the same thing here, we have 999 factorial. So this gives us, so we have this one being multiplied by negative one from here. Then so n minus one. Okay, so that n minus one factorial becomes nine 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 factorial. So nine 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 factorial. We have x to the power thousand. So we have finished the first one. We move to the next one. Remember, we are doing this thousand times. So plus so r now becomes one. So moving from zero, we go to one. So our r is one. If r is one, then this place will give us thousand combination one. All right. So this place becomes one. So it means first derivative of s. So if I differentiate s once, you see, I'll get one. So it's not even necessary to write here. Then I move here. Remember my uh, R is 1. So if I subtract 1 from 1000, I'll get 999. It means I'm going to differentiate this side uh, 999 times, which is so simple as I just substituting 999 here. And when I do that, I mean, this place got 998, which means this place um, positive. Okay, so I come here and uh, this place becomes 998 um, factorial. Then here I have 999. Let's continue. So now R becomes 2. So if R is 2, I need to come here and differentiate this one twice. Now you agree with me that after differentiating this one once, we differentiate s, we get 1. Now if I differentiate again, what I'll get to be 0. And that 0 will be used to multiply whatever we're going to get subsequently. So you see that from here, when we continue, everything we'll be getting will be 0, 0, 0, 0. So we have finished the differentiation of this particular product of functions thousand times. The only thing left is for us to simplify a bit. So we can. So this gives us 1. We have one here, then this x here is our one. So when the bases are the same and we are multiplying, then we add the, the powers. So this gives us negative 999 factorial multiplied by x 999. Then plus, so this gives us um, um, what we have here. So this gives us thousand. We have thousand here. Alright, so that thousand is multiplying nine nine um, eight factorial x nine nine nine. Let's see we have whether we have some common uh, factors. Now look at it. this factorial, this is also factorial. Now we've learned uh, that if, for instance, we are looking for 5 factorial, then I can write it as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. It is the same as writing 5 times 4 factorial. Why? Because 4 factorial also gives me 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, then times the 5, then it's the same thing. So using that uh, idea, we come here and say that 
the 999 factorial here can be written as 999. So the negative is just multiplying everything here. So 999 times 998 factorial. Then x 999.